From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Happy Thursday to you. I'm Power 5 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. We are feeling the chill. Winter has returned. It may be April on the calendar, but you will need the jackets and the coats if you're heading outdoors today because temperatures will only make it into the upper 40s for the afternoon. Yesterday we were in the 60s. So a big change. Also, you may need the rain gear briefly. Some spotty light rain showers hanging around. We actually had a few snowflakes flying this morning. We could have another light mix once again tonight. So make sure you're ready for that. Danita. Thank you, Ramisha. Here's your top stories for today. For the second straight week, more than 200,000 Ohioans have fought for unemployment. That brings the total number for the past three weeks to nearly 700,000. That's almost double the number of claims we saw in all of last year. There are more than 3,000 veterans who've tested positive for COVID-19 nationwide. In our area, the VA is taking care of 14 inpatients and 28 outpatients. The Chief of Medical Service for Northeast Ohio says they haven't seen a surge yet, but they're getting ready for one. And they're offering virtual appointments so patients can get help without exposing themselves. The Cleveland Clinic plans on starting drug trials for hydroxychloroquine. That's the drug President Trump has been touting as a treatment for COVID-19. It's usually used to treat malaria, but doctors told our partners at the Akron Beacon Journal it's not yet clear whether it helps fight coronavirus. They've only used it on patients with the most severe symptoms so far, and that's because doctors say it can suppress the immune system and cause heart and kidney problems. We'll have another update for you later tonight. Until then, check the News 5 app for the latest story. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.